So to do my color mixing tests, I'm using uh, two colors from each of the primary colors. So first I have Hansa, Hansa, Le Hansa Yellow Lemon and Cadmium Free Yellow Medium. I have Cadmium Free Red Medium, Quinacridone Magenta. I have Ultramarine Blue and Thalo Blue Green Shade. I have a couple other secondary colors. So one purple, Dioxazine Purple. One green, sap green hue. I chose sap green hue because it's a very, very popular green. And then I use some titanium white just to uh, do a little uh, mixing to see. Sometimes it's hard to see what color you're actually dealing with because some of the mixes can be quite dark. Okay, let me just move those off to the side. And here's my color mixing sheet. So let's start by taking a look at cadmium orange straight out of the tube. Add a bit of white. Now, as I was doing uh, my initial mixes on my palette preparing for this, I found cadmium orange to be, like a lot of cadmiums, to be very strong. So it doesn't take too, too much to uh, to get the color mix that you're uh, aiming for. And sometimes it's hard to uh, keep yourself from adding too much. So Hansa Yellow Lemon. So this is it with a lot of the cadmium or a lot of the Hansa Yellow Lemon with a bit of cadmium orange. And as you can see, that's uh, a pretty orange color. I did struggle a little bit with uh, how powerful the cadmium orange was with the Hansa Yellow Lemon. So um, the cadmium orange really just overpowered it. And here it is with just a little bit of the uh, Hansa Yellow and just a touch of the Cadmium, or a little bit of the Hansa Yellow and a lot of the Cadmium Orange. There it is with a bit of white. Let's just add a bit more white. Not dramatically different with either of those. And that's not surprising. Orange is right next to, to the color wheel, on the color wheel to yellow. So you're not going to get um, a huge range of color in between. Now let's take a look at a lot of cadmium free yellow medium, just a bit of cadmium orange. This one wasn't so hard to control how much uh, of the orange I put in. So you can see that's like a warmer, warmer yellow. So here's the original cad free yellow medium. And there it is with just a touch of the orange. And now here it is with a lot of the orange and just a bit of, a bit of the yellow. And again, not a huge difference because again, cadmium free yellow medium. I mean, it's right next to the color wheel essentially to cadmium orange. So there's not gonna be a huge difference. You're really just gonna, you know, lighten it up a little bit if you're adding the yellow. Okay, so here it is with cad free red. Now cad free red is powerful. That's a lot of the cad free red with just a little bit of the orange. It's not a dramatic difference there. Let me add a bit of white so you can see what we're really dealing with there. So again, cad free or red is right next to the color wheel um, on the color wheel to orange. So you're not going to get a dramatic difference. And here it is with a bit of the uh, a bit of red and oops, a bit of red and a lot of orange. Trying to get a paler version. It's a bit paler. There we go. Now let's move around to Quinn Magenta. Now Quinn Magenta has a lot more blue in it, and blue is the opposite of the color wheel to on the color wheel to um, orange. So you can expect uh, maybe a little bit darker, or muddier, muddier colors. So here it is with a lot of the Quinn Magenta, just a bit of the orange. What's interesting is it becomes quite like a, a bright orange. You know, you really lose that sense of purple, but it's really, or I think I said bright orange, I meant bright red. Um, it's really an interesting how similar it becomes to the cad-free red. Not exact, but similar. 
so I'm not that far off. Now here it is with a lot of the orange and a little bit of the Quin Magenta. And just some white. Okay, now we've made our way over to the blues. Blue, like I said, is the opposite on the color wheel to um, orange, which means you can really expect a lot of darker colors, muddier colors. That is a lot of ultramarine blue mixed with a little bit of the orange. Now let's add some white. Let's see, a bit more white. Even more white. Just want to see what we're really dealing with here. There we go, a very gray brown color. Now I find the more blue you add in, it tends to uh, lean a bit more towards gray um, until it starts you know, becoming more blue again. Um, so when you're mixing your um, blue and orange together, just remember that a bit more blue means often means a bit more gray. And a bit more of the orange can mean a bit browner. And here it is with a lot of orange in it. So you get, if you compare that to that, so you add the blue and it becomes uh, a muddier orange. Okay, phthalo blue green. Now again, blue is the opposite of the color wheel. Um, ultramarine blue is a warm blue, so it has a bit more red to it. Uh, whereas phthalo blue green ha is more of a, it's a blue green. So it's truly opposite of the color wheel compared to ultramarine blue. Um, it's also a very powerful uh, mixing color. So it's very difficult to really kind of move it. Um, it's very difficult to overpower the phthalo blue, even with cadmium orange. Like I said, cadmium orange mixed with the Hansi yellow really overpowered the Hansi yellow very quickly. But with the phthalo blue, the opposite happens. The phthalo blue overpowers the, uh, the cadmium orange. So that is, so there's the original phthalo blue. Um, and you can see that's just a darker version. Darker and a bit muddier. And now here it is with a lot of orange. And just a little bit of the phthalo blue. And it's a very muddy orange. Almost getting towards like an olive ish orangey see a lot of dead leaves looking that color. Okay, dioxazine purple. Now dioxazine purple is another very powerful color. So let's see, and it's also very dark. It's hard to see what you're actually dealing with when you mix with dioxazine purple till you add some white. And there we go. It's not a perfect mix. It's not mixing, uh, adding in the white on the fly here. Um, but you can see it, you know, it's a bit of a kind of muted somewhat purple. Now let's take a look at uh, a lot of cadmium orange mixed with a little bit of the purple. And again, a muddy orange. Now, one thing to keep in mind as you're watching this, I'm not being exact with my mixes. I'm just doing one mix where I try and have a lot of the uh, mixing color. So in this case, a lot of dioxidine purple. And then the other color, I try and have a lot of the color I'm testing. So in this case, a lot of the cadmium orange. And it's a bit of, uh, we'll see what we get as we do this. And there's a ton of colors that uh, you can kind of gather or test out on the spectrum. Like I could sit here and do 10 versions of each. So 10 mixes of Quinn Magenta just to see all that we could get, but that would take a really long time. And this is just to give an idea of what you can get. Uh, so this is sap green, very, um, sap green is a nice color, it tends to be a very warm green, and of course you add some cadmium orange, it becomes even warmer. And now it is, here it is with even more orange, so definitely a, a muddy orange as well. Okay, so that is cadmium orange. Now let's take a look at the vat orange. You know, one thing you might notice as, uh, We'll see how it uh, applies, but the fat orange is the fluid, so it might look less thick on this paper, but it should um, still have a decent amount of pigment. Okay, so here's a bit more 
white, and more white again. And you can really see how it almost becomes like a pinky corally orange compared to this orange, which is more of a, uh, I guess a yellow weir, yellow weir orange. And it's interesting because I pretty much never use this fat orange. I think I bought it for a course I was taking ages ago. Um, so I'm not really experienced with it, but uh, I do like the, um, the tones you can get just with it straight out of the tube. So that is it with uh, a lot of the Hansi Yellow Lemon. And let's take a look at it with a lot of the that orange and just a bit of the Hansi Yellow Lemon. Add some white, see what we're dealing with. And I found when compared, or when I mixed these, with the Hansi Yellow Lemon versus the Cadmium Orange version, the Vat Orange definitely isn't quite as powerful as the Cadmium Orange. It was a little easier to control. Okay, Cad Free Yellow Medium. A lot of the Cad Free Yellow. Let's add a bit of white to it. And one more mix of the yellows with the oranges. This is the Cad Free Yellow Medium with a lot of the orange. Add some white to it, see what, dealing with it. So again, not dramatically different. That's not surprising because we're dealing with a color that is very close on the color wheel to the bat orange. And here we are with the reds. So there's the Cad Free Red, lots of the Cad Free Red. Again, Cad Free Red is a very powerful color can be hard to uh, kind of move it um, into that orange territory when you're mixing it with uh, an orange. Now here it is with a lot of the orange and just a touch of the red, so you can really warm it up if you want, but just adding a touch of cadmium red to your that orange. Okay, Quinn Magenta. So now we're getting, Quinn Magenta has a lot of uh, blue as an undertone. So here it is with a bit of the Vat Orange. It definitely still keeps its purple quality, purpley red. And here it is with a lot of the orange and just a little bit of the Quinn Magenta. Add some red again. And ultramarine blue. It's ultramarine blue, opposite of the color wheel, to orange. Let's see how that looks. That's definitely, like if you compare this to that, this original straight out of the tube, ultramarine blue, compared to that, that is definitely darker. That happens because when colors are opposite on the color wheel, they tend to, not always, but tend to go a little bit darker before you um, kind of end up back like, to the original color. When you're looking along the spectrum of color mixes you can get. So that's a nice uh, purpley blue with a hint of, I guess, purple to it. And here's a lot of the Vat Orange and a little bit of the Ultramarine Blue. So a darker version, absolutely, than the pure Vat Orange. Darker and warmer, which means a type of brown. Bela Blue Green now. See how this mixed. This is one where I never really quite know because it's so dark on the palette and so dark when you first apply it. So let's see how it looks with the white. So yeah, still definitely very a phalo-y, bluey color, um, but not as bright or intense. It takes down some of the intensity when you add um, a color on the opposite of the color wheel. Okay, now let's take a look at it with a lot of the orange. So dark brown here. It's a little quite grayed out, but still a warm gray, which of course means essentially brown. Okay, dioxazine purple. Again, dioxazine purple is a powerful color, very dark color out of the tube. You got a mix to it, sometimes it's still very dark. So let's add some white. So it's still very purple. 
because it's difficult to get the vat orange to kind of take overpower the uh, dioxazine purple. But here it is with vat orange, lots of vat orange and just a bit of the purple. There it is lighter. So there is a very muddy red, very muted red. Okay, sap green. So sap green with just a bit of the orange. It's quite dark. It's had some white, well, a lot of white there. It's had a little bit of this color. It's hard to, if you go too pale, it's hard to see what you're dealing with as well. And one last mix. So just a bit of the uh, sap green and a lot of the vat orange. I'll just add a bit of white. Okay, clean off my brush one last time and then we'll just take a moment to look at the different color mixes. Okay, so my thoughts are, um, I've really, if I've needed to use orange in a painting, I've either mixed it myself or I've used cadmium orange because that um, came in a tube. The vat orange, um, I've barely used, like I said, but now that I look at it, I think it's very interesting, probably for doing floral paintings, um, because you can do a lot of interesting, because it's a little bit redder, you get a bit more of that corally color, which I've always struggled to mix myself. Um, and then you add a bit more red and you can push it towards um, some interesting kind of pinky purple colors. So I think that's really, really interesting. So I might actually, maybe, we'll see over time when I do a bit more testing um, in paintings itself, in, in paintings themselves, I might actually switch over to using bat orange and once I'm used once I've used up this tube of cadmium orange I might not uh, pick up cadmium orange anymore I might just stick to bat orange as for some of the other color mixes they're somewhat similar I mean they're not exact you know but some of that can be chalked up to you know having you know different kind of ratios of uh, pigment in each of them but uh, Really, it's this this area that I think is the most interesting for me for bat orange. So um, take a look at this yourself. You know, make your own judgment of what you might like for your own color palette, depending on what you paint. Um, and uh, happy painting with your orange colors.